YouTube. Today is May 31st, 2010. And for those of you that aren't in the United States, uh, Memorial Day is basically the day where we celebrate um, the United States soldiers that have lost their lives in service, which is very unfortunate, but they get their own special day and... Um, you know, definitely took a, a moment of silence out this morning for all the soldiers that lost their lives. Now, Memorial Day is basically the start of summer. Although it's not officially summer, that doesn't start until I think June 21st. Memorial Day is the day when the pools open and it starts getting hot and you start getting, um, you know, anxious for the summer to roll around. And since I did a video last year for my 2009 summer backlog, I thought I'd do a 2010 summer backlog so you guys can follow along and, um, see what I plan on completing this summer. Now, the whole reason of me doing this 2010 summer backlog video is so I can show you guys 10 games that I want to complete this summer. Now this doesn't mean that I'm going to complete all 10 games, but these are the top most important games that I have in my backlog that I want to just X off and uh, complete. The first game that I definitely want to complete and this is definitely number one on my list is Fallout 3. Now I was so hyped for this game to be released and to tell you the truth I've only played like two hours of the game so I have a lot more to go including all of the DLC I want to purchase it and play through. But the reason why I want to get through with this is because Fallout New Vegas will be coming out uh, I think in the fall sometime and I want to be done with this before I move on to that. So. This has high priority on my backlog for this summer. Professor Layton in the Diabolical Box. Now, I only played an hour of this game and I absolutely love the Professor Layton series. It just got pushed to the side and um, I'm hearing it's not that long of a game but it's really easy for me to play this game uh, on the go. So this is definitely going to be one that I'm focusing on as well. We're going to go retro for a second because I really want to complete Conker's Bad Fur Day. I've heard such phenomenal things about this game that I've started playing it and to be honest I've maybe put like 30 minutes into it and I enjoyed it but I've just never gotten further in it so this is one that I am definitely going to play through and I have high hopes for I love rare games and I don't know what's taken me so long to actually play through this one but I plan on completing it this in summer. In my PSP collection video a lot of people have asked me why I've never opened Metal Gear Solid Portable Ops and it is still sealed so you guys know that Metal Gear Solid Peace Walker for the PSP will be dropping next week or actually I think it's two weeks from now. So I want to complete this game before I get around to playing um, Peace Walker and I'm hearing this is a phenomenal game for the PSP and it, it has a great story. New Super Mario Brothers Wii. Now I've gotten to like the third world in this game and I just haven't been able to pick it back up. So it's not going to be too hard to complete this game and have fun with it. And this is this is probably going to be a game that I'm going to play along with my son. You GTA 4 fans out there will probably be excited by the fact that I'm thinking about completing Grand Theft Auto episodes from Liberty City. Now I did play a little bit of the Ballad of Gay Tony and I enjoyed it. So I want to beat Ballad of Gay Tony and um, Lost and Damned and get this over with because it was it had great presentation and I enjoyed the story especially in Ballad of Gay Tony so um, we'll see how that goes. Red Steel 2 is one that I want to knock off this summer um, you know I had really good first impressions of the game when I first bought it but as most of the games that I get it got shuffled to the side and I definitely want to spend more time with it because I feel like the controls worked really well and you know so far the story was okay so I'm definitely going to delete my save and start fresh and brand new and uh, have some fun with this. Little Big Planet is a game that I'm very close to completing but I want to go back and try to get some friends to help me along the way um, you know so we can get some of the extra items that are hidden that you need co-op you need to play co-op to get. Uh, so yeah, Little Big Planet is definitely going to be one that's not going to be hard for me to complete. So now I just have two DS games to share with you guys. The first one being Castlevania Dawn of Sorrow, which is a game that I always seem to start, but I get lost along the way and I just stop playing. And Super Princess Peach, was, which I hear is a really good platformer and um, it's pretty old and I'm kind of mad at myself that I haven't completed this game yet. So um, these two will be getting knocked out this summer as well. 
So yeah, those are the 10 games I plan on completing this summer that are in my backlog. And, you know, I don't want to commit to doing reviews for all 10 of these games. So maybe you'll see some type of small video here on YouTube. And if you don't, then check out my site, www.playingforfun.net. And hopefully you'll see some type of write-up on there about the games that I plan on complete, completing this summer. Now, please feel free, YouTube community, to go ahead and do a response video. Let's knock some of those games off of your backlog, whether it's retro games or brand new games, whatever it may be. Do a response video and let me know 10 or 5 or 2, however many games you want to complete this summer. I mean, this would be a really cool thing to keep track of. So I want to thank you guys for watching this video and I'll check you next time.